well as this YouTube channel, and I share vegan, whole food, plant-based, oil-free recipes. Today, I'm excited to share with you a recipe for a zesty quinoa black bean salad. And first, I wanna show you how to make the quinoa in your Instant Pot. This is the three quart Instant Pot, and I love it for cooking uh, smaller batches of grains. So we're going to start with two and a half cups of water. And then I have already measured out two cups of quinoa, and this is the organic quinoa that I purchased from Costco. The Kirkland brand, the great thing about it is it's already pre-washed. So most brands, you do have to rinse them first to get rid of that little bitter um, coating that's on the outside of the quinoa, but the Kirkland brand is already pre-washed, makes it super simple, love that, get to skip a step. So then we're just going to place this in the pressure cooker along with that water and we're going to put the lid on it. And what I really like about being able to do this in my pressure cooker is that I don't have to watch it. If I have it on the stove top, I have to keep an eye on it. Now the lid is never a problem to put on when I'm doing this off camera. There we go. And we're going to set this for five minutes. So on this one, I just push pressure cook. And the last thing I cooked in it obviously was quinoa because it was set for five minutes. Then I wanna make sure that the steam valve is set to sealing, not venting and we're going to let that cook and come down with natural pressure. So even though I've set this for five minutes, it will take longer than five minutes for it to complete its cycle because it has to heat that water up and come to pressure, and then it also has to come down. So we'll be back when that is finished and show you how to proceed with the salad. Okay, while the quinoa is cooking, I will start getting the ingredients to add into it ready. So it requires black beans. I will rinse and drain the black beans. I'm going to thaw out some of this frozen organic corn and uh, dice the red peppers. It calls for um, a small red onion and I don't have a small one, so I'll use about half of this large red onion. And then I'm going to need about a half a cup of lime juice, and I don't have enough limes to get enough juice for that. It takes quite a few. So I do have this jarred lime juice that's organic and wonderful, and I get that at Whole Foods. But I do have some limes, and so I want the zest from those, hence zesty uh, quinoa black bean salad. And so I'm going to zest the um, limes so that I have that, and then I do have some cilantro that I've already um, chopped. And then the mustard also is going in the dressing. So I'll get that all together and then we'll proceed. Okay, the quinoa is done. The pressure has come down. I have the um, pepper, red bell pepper chopped, and half of that red onion is chopped, and we thawed out some corn and rinsed and drained some beans. Now, it doesn't use the whole two boxes of beans. I guess you could. 
Um, I just do a couple cups. So, um, but you could do as much or as little as you want. So we're gonna go ahead and get the quinoa out. And it turns out absolutely perfect and beautiful in the Instant Pot. And if you're not right there when it gets done, you know the Instant Pot goes to a warm cycle and um, it just stays nice and hot for you. Now this salad is good both hot and cold. And once you uh, have refrigerated the leftovers, you can either eat it cold or heat it up. And we like to do both. So sometimes we will take the salad and use it on top of a chopped salad. And that is so delicious, an easy Mexican salad that way. So we're just gonna pour it all in here in my nice big bowl. This is a great bowl. I got it off of Amazon and it has a lid with a handle that you can, so you can carry it. It's great for potlucks. And for demos, I like to use it so you can see how pretty everything is. So two cups makes a lot of quinoa. And quinoa is a seed actually and what they call a pseudo grain. So it is gluten free, which is wonderful. So now I'm just going to put in my beans and my corn. This is such a colorful salad, great for potlucks, something to take to work when everybody is bringing something in. Um, I wanted to show you that although I'm using the bottled um, lime juice, I have a couple fresh limes and I do want the zest. And so you always want to zest these before you squeeze the juice out of them. Um, I have forgotten a couple of times and it's very challenging to try and get the zest. So this is just a micro plane. I've had this probably for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. It's a one-time purchase. It has never gotten dull. It still works as good today as it did the day I bought it. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to get into the pith, the white part underneath the skin because that's bitter, but the, the green part has a lot of flavor. And it just adds a lot. So, and it adds a little color too. So we're just enhancing that lime flavor and the dressing is super simple. It's a half a cup of lime juice and three tablespoons of no salt added mustard and I get the Westbury brand and you can buy that on Amazon. I can link to it. I can link to everything below the video so you won't have any trouble finding things. Now I like to um, put this in the fridge, it'll last all week long. So if I make it on the weekend, then we can enjoy it all week, hot, cold, on top of our salads. Tom likes to make chips, homemade chips in the air fryer and have it with chips and pour the dressing over. I just whisked it with a small whisk and then I'm gonna need about, oh, half a cup of chopped cilantro and I'm just gonna guess. If you don't like cilantro, you could just use um, parsley, the flat leaf parsley I like really well. So we gotta get those peppers mixed up in here because they're so beautiful. You could use the yellow or the orange or the green ones or a mix of whatever peppers you can find. Right now I'm able to find the red ones and the tricolored ones. Okay, that is all there is to it. It is a beautiful salad and that lime juice and um, mustard just really go well together. It's kind of surprising but they're really delicious. So this is beautiful salad, very easy to make. There you go. If you enjoyed this video today, if you would give me a thumbs up,
and subscribe to my channel so that every time I do a new video, you'll get a notification. And follow me on nutmegnotebook.com as well as Instagram and Facebook, all under Nutmeg Notebook. I help you get healthy and stay healthy one meal at a time. Thanks for watching. Maybe we could call it zesty quinoa. What? What are you doing? Did I just walk into a shot? Yeah, I just went. I'm sorry, let me get out of your way.